This is an assembled crossover unit. This takes the voltage in from the amplifier. Look at all those traces back there. Runs it through particular I've gone stupid here for some reason. Through different resistors and whatnot's happening here. These are magic. So these change up the wattage of the electricity coming through. I'm no actual engineer here. And then up here you've got your, you might be able to see it, mid-range output. woofer output and tweeter output so this decides which signals need to go to which speakers because you don't want to send the giant 100 watt signals that the woofer would be seeing to the mid-range because it'll just pow come out real quick or you don't want to do it to your tweeter either that'll just make it explode or just catch fire um and you'll say carson why is this one done? I thought it was DIY. Well, I got carried away and went ahead and did this one because I wanted to make sure I wasn't going to mess it up with all of you guys watching. And the rest of the other one is all in here. See? There it is. Um, as you've probably seen, the cabinets are all done now. I'm just going to touch a few things up on them tomorrow morning, get them all sanded down and prepped for installing everything that I'm going to finish up working on tonight. So, first crossover is done. Look at that. Nice and pretty. I really like the way this looks. It's a shame that it's just going to get stuffed down inside this box where you will never ever see it again. But plus one for stuffing things in boxes. Old bags, I wonder if I should, I should put all the bags inside a bag. I can bag the bag and then put that bag in a bag. That bag's probably gonna go in another bag. And since these are little teeny tiny plastic bags, they are nearly impossible to recycle and that bag will get buried in the ground. Thanks everybody. Okay, so. We have a bare PCB. Not all those beautiful traces and I'm about to mess up. Okay, I don't need that. Uh, I've got some zip ties over here, solder. Zip ties are for some of the larger components on the board. Since they're heavier, you don't really want them wobbling around because it can weaken and or break the joint in there. So everything in here is individually bagged. I'm just gonna get everything out. Ow, just poked myself. Get everything out of the bag. See that little Johnny right there? It was going for my finger. Now, practically all of this cause just can be pulled out and laid out. Except for two of these coils that look exactly the same but act just a little bit differently. But like these resistors, there's two different kinds of these block resistors. There's this 10 watt, one ohm. And I'm just going to straighten all the legs in here because I have immense OCD. And everything needs to be lined up perfectly because I will never see this again in my life. But somebody else might. And that person may have seen this video and they're like, man, I watched that person build it. I bet it's quality. But if it's not perfect and they open it and they watch the video that I did that, they're like, wow, this person's trash. And I just don't need that in my life. Here's another one of those resistors. This one here, another 10 watt, one ohm. And all a resistor does is exactly its name. It creates resistance to the electrical, electronic current, electric current. It creates resistance in the current. 
and slows it down a little bit and lowers your wattage. Watts, of course, are your combination of volts, volts times amps, volts and amps. And this one here is 10 watts, one and a half ohm. So that one's a little more resistance than the others. It's like blowing through a bigger or smaller straw. One ohm is going to be like your boba straw. One and a half ohm is gonna be like your Brahms straw. It's not like a normal soda straw you're gonna get somewhere, but it's not quite a big boba straw. It's made for those milkshakes. This here is 6.8 microfarads plus or minus 5% at 250 volts. These here are capacitors. They store electricity and then discharge it in a very uniform manner. Um, like on an oscilloscope, you'll see it. It's like a shark fin almost. It charges, not really linearly. Um, I don't know what, oh, dang it. But it charges and then discharges and then charges and then discharges. So it's kind of a precise piece of electronic equipment. I don't like the way that one sits. I'm going to bend those legs a little more, just so when everything goes in, everything's facing up. You can see it. It looks pretty. And the monsters inside are happy with me because it looks good. <coughs> if you can't tell as well, I'm a little hoarse because, well, it's been about a week at this point. I was crazy sick. Like that, I think I'm going to die kind of sick. And I really just haven't fully come back around from that. So I gotta bend these back up. Be really careful with them, nice and slow. So most of these bags don't matter. The bag tells you the value of what's in it as well, but that's not gonna matter until we get to these last two and I'll show you the difference. This big Johnny. Oh, Johnny. Oh, Johnny Girls reference. And not that terrible band from Oklahoma. Okay. There's that. All right. So both of these spools of copper wire look just about exactly the same. You can kind of tell this one's got a little more wire to it. So the longer the wire, the higher the resistance. So you can see here, part L3 is 0 0.5 mH. And this one is a little bit longer. This one's got more wire. So point L, part L2 is 0 0.6 mH. Not that right now I have any idea what MH means, but that value is higher and these are different, which means you need to put them in the right spot. If I put them in the wrong spot, I may end up with the worst sounding amazing speakers in the world that I built. And I will only, I will be the only person to blame for that. So that way these two, I'm an idiot and it was right in front of me the whole time. Oh wow, how long has my timer been done? Well, can't be watching YouTube while I'm making YouTube. So let's do this. Let's actually first grab a microfiber and clean this camera lens off. Because I am a dirty heathen. That will do. I'll send you something if you can tell me what that reference was actually from. And I bet it's not what you think it was. Yes, San Mamiya, this dude. Check this dude out on Instagram, San Mamiya. I love this freaking artist. He'd made some art for us back when we did Fourth Up. Oh yeah, I love this guy so much. So much, but yeah, let's go live. 
you check my connection. You tell me if I'm any good. And there we are. Look at my hair. That's fantastic. I'm gonna get that down there. We did behind the ear. So we'll just sit here and wait. We'll sit here and wait for anybody. You can see me now. That's weird. That's so creepy. I don't like that. But we'll deal with it. Back to this. Is there any, is there even anyone out there? This is really bright. Come on, people. All right, I'm gonna get back on this, even though there's no one here. Um, I'm gonna cut these legs off. Maybe I should announce going live. That way people will get on, maybe ask me questions. Black Bob, oh, hi Bob. Tonight, we're working on your favorite thing in the world. Electronics. And actually, I'm live streaming this while I'm recording a YouTube video. So I don't know if you probably don't know, but someone bought these crazy baller speakers for me on Amazon, Swans. Uh, it's like a DIY kit, and I get to build everything myself. If you see that, it's actually in a picture on my Instagram right now. Do it all myself. So right now we are building crossovers. Here's one of the completed ones. I'm surprised you're not driving right now. Get this one here. That little stab monster. I think one of those already stabbed me. Let's get the other ones in. I saw it. I was wondering what... Yeah, speakers. I uh, got the boxes built today. Building the crossovers now so I get all the electrical stuff done. That way tomorrow I can sand down the boxes, figure out how I want to finish them. But mostly get the crossovers mounted in the boxes, wire everything up, plug this in, and get my brain blasted out of my ear holes because this thing's going to sound great. Yeah, what else is going on? Where's the Evo? Is that thing done yet? Gonna wire that thing up so they know when you're not wearing your seatbelt. Just a dab. Oh, come on. I want to see your car. I missed your car. Just the same as I don't have my Integra. I miss my Integra a lot. But that's not so much it being worked on. That's just me needing to drive a thousand miles away to put my car on a trailer and bring it back. It's nothing special. It is like a bone stock bolt-on Integra GSR. That's it, but it's perfect. Like it's so good. It's such a good car. Honda magic, man. Honda magic. All right, one more big daddy. And we're gonna put some wires on these and test them. Really what this is gonna turn into is wanting to see cars that don't really exist. I'm gonna keep telling everyone I'm working on it. Every time I see my family, I'm gonna say, Crystal's real, she just couldn't make it tonight. <laughs> it 
it's always the myth to people that are threatened by those things. That's really all that is. People mad that they can't get something done. Or they don't have awesome people to work on their cars for them. God damn little stabby wires, man. That's the thing about working on car wiring. Automotive wiring's all multi-strand wiring. This is all like solid wires and sharp like 16 gauge copper wire that should go straight into your fingers. That does not feel good. Oh, there's two more. Man, this is, this is a sad Saturday night. You have a good night, Bob. I'll see you soon. I'm gonna come touch your wheel and feel it. Later, dude. What a lonely night. Will this like tell me if there's anyone out there? Hello? What is that? Can I do this on YouTube? Am I gonna get in trouble for live streaming on Instagram while I make a video for YouTube? Is that like a no-no? And yes, battery died on the GoPro. Who'd have thought? But yeah, so it's been a fun ride learning more about stereo systems and speakers and all of the different crazy loudspeakers out there. And then just going on my journey to find what works best for me. And this is a huge step. This is so cool. I love doing this. I love building things. Like, if PS Audio didn't have such a high reputation to keep and the Sprout wasn't a surface mount uh, sort of PCB, you better believe I'd be all over trying to build that myself. All right. So both crossover boards are completely built. This one is now completely wired. It's got the input that comes from the binding post. It's got the output that goes to the woofer, which is really close to it. It's got the output that goes up to the tweeter. And now the output that goes to the mid-range. I'm going to get the other one finished up, and in the next video, you will probably see me trying to finish the cabinets somewhat, and then begin mounting everything in the cabinets. I need to test the crossovers and make sure all of the drivers work correctly, so you'll see me do that. We will clean up the cabinets, and then get everything mounted next time. Yeah. Goodbye.